Pac-Man, Mario, Sonic, Pikachu, Donkey Kong. These are just a few names that are known all over the world and have become synonymous with video gaming as a whole. Honestly now, almost every person you meet will have at least played one of these well-known games. It really makes you wonder why those names in particular were chosen. The name of a character, or of anything really, is incredibly important to its memorableness, to marketing, and of course, its success. Oftentimes, a lot of thought gets put into characters' names, but other times, it's all coincidental. Some characters actually have some pretty interesting stories about why the creators chose their names. So let's use our heads and think about that. Kirby was originally named Popopo during development, but eventually the name Kirby was chosen from a long list of potential names. Shigeru Miyamoto stated that the name Kirby was chosen because it's the name of American lawyer John Kirby, who defended Nintendo against Universal City Studios when they sued in 1984 over Donkey Kong. Coincidentally, choosing the name Kirby also meant that our pink friend shares the name of a vacuum manufacturing company, which is fitting. But speaking of Donkey Kong, why Donkey Kong? What kind of name is Donkey? First, let's look at the Kong part. The whole premise of Donkey Kong is very similar to that of King Kong. Large ape kidnaps Lady and climbs to the top of a tower. This similarity, by the way, is why Universal Studios sued Nintendo. Now, Donkey Kong isn't nearly as big or nearly as great of an ape as King Kong, and this is exactly why he got his name. Donkey doesn't just mean these small horse-like animals. Donkey also means stupid, silly, stubborn, and lowly. Compared to King Kong, DK certainly is lowly. And he's also all of these other things. Yeah, he's an ass, but you can't exactly go slapping ass ape all over arcade cabinets now, could you? Donkey Kong's rival was named Jumpman because he is a man that has an amazing jumping ability. Wow. But this Jumpman would soon be referred to as Mario in order to give him a more human name. Mario was named after Mario Sigali, who was the landlord of Nintendo of America's office. At one point, he barged in during a company meeting and demanded he get his overdue rent. This was about the time Nintendo was looking for a new name for Jumpman, so things just worked out. Luigi has a much less impressive origin, which is fitting for his character. When developing Mario Bros in 1983, Miyamoto needed a second character to be with Mario in two-player mode. And, well, there just happened happened to be a pizza joint near Nintendo of America's headquarters in Redmond, Washington, called Mario and Luigi's. So those names have sounded good together since way before video games. And so, Luigi is named Luigi because Mario is named Mario. Always in your brother's shadow, aren't you, Luigi? That makes me wonder about Wario. Are W's evil or something? Or is he just named Mario but with the M flipped because being upside down is evil? Obviously. While this is a decent speculative answer, it's not the right one. The reason Nintendo named him Wario is because it takes the name Mario and mixes it with the Japanese word Wadui, which means bad. So Wario literally translates into bad Mario. And the same goes for Waluigi, translating into bad Luigi. As for other bad guys, Miyamoto once said he considered naming all of the Mario enemies after Korean dishes, but instead only did so with the Koopas. Koopa is a Korean soup with rice. And in Japan, Bowser doesn't have the name Bowser. He is known merely as King Koopa, the king of rice soup. As for his American name, Bowser, a Bowser is a type of military tanker for holding large amounts of water or fuel. Yeah, I can see that. Now on to Olimar and Louie from Pikmin. Would you believe me if I said that these two were actually named after Mario and Luigi? Louie makes sense. He's thinner and taller than Olimar, making him the Luigi counterpart. And I mean, come on. Louie, Luigi, it rhymes. Kinda. Olimar is extra bundles of fun, though. How do we get Mario to Olimar? Well, let's take Mario and break it down to its syllables. Mario and mix them around. Orimar, Orimar, Olimar. The only character more recognizable than Mario worldwide is Pac-Man. The name Pakuman was inspired by the Japanese onomatopoeia Paku Paku, which describes the sound of eating. 
similar to the English word chomp or om nom nom. As more developing took place, his name morphed into Puck Man because he's shaped like a hockey puck, and this still has the similar eating sound. However, when Puck Man was being brought to North America, there was some concern that the arcade cabinets would become vandalized in a way that changes the P into an F to spell something entirely different. So they made a compromise and changed his name to Pac-Man instead. And being that America is a massive marketing machine and has a huge audience, they decided to go with Pac-Man globally. Another classic game, Cubert, was originally going to be called Cubes because that's what he hops around on. The game name was later changed to Snots and Boogers because Cubert was given the ability to shoot snot balls out of his nose at enemies. But this ability of his was later taken out of the game. So they had to change the name again. They decided they should just name the game after the starring character, who at the time didn't have a name yet. But they eventually chose Hubert as the name because he looks like a Hubert. Yep. That's why. But then they got creative and added a Q to form the word cube within his name. A pun of sorts. Cube. Bert. Cubert. While in The Legend of Zelda you can choose any name, Link is the default name. Originally, Miyamoto was going to name him Christo after his grandfather. But then he thought an adventure game like this needs a protagonist with a more thought out name. So it was changed to Link to reflect that he functioned as the player's link to the world. This also allows for plenty of puns, like a link to the past, a link between worlds, etc. So what about Zelda then? Miyamoto simply named her after Zelda Fitzgerald because she was a famous and beautiful woman. He liked the sound of it because it sounds powerful and important, like that of royalty. Link's trusty steed Epona takes the name of the Roman god of horses. Horses and fertility. That's an odd mix. And Navi's original name was going to be Fairy Navigation System, but they decided that was too long, so they shortened it to Navi. Kingdom Hearts gets creative by naming its main three characters in relation to one another. In Japanese, Sora means sky, Riku means land, and Kairi means ocean. Cool, and Kairi also means separation. This brings out a key point in the Kingdom Hearts plot. Sora and Riku's friendship is separated by Kairi's love. But before that happens, they are all living in harmony on Destiny Island, where land, sea, and sky meet in perfect unison. Sonic was originally named Mr. Needlemouse, but Yuji Naka, his creator, thought this name sounded silly. He was right. And when the time came for the game to start being marketed, he gathered a group of marketers to come up with a better name. Sonic was given to reference his high speed. And while Tails may seem like an easy name, similar to Sonic, Tails is named Tails because he has two tails that he uses for flight. But Tails is just his nickname. His real name is Miles Per Hour, which is a play on words. Miles Per Hour. Miles Per Hour. It's a name about his speed. All right, just don't, don't question it. Crash Bandicoot was originally going to be Willy the Wombat, but as game development continued, they noticed Willy was spending a lot of time smashing crates open. So they changed his name into Crash and changed him into a Bandicoot because Crash Bandicoot sounds better than Crash the Wombat. Also, as his character design kept being tweaked, he started looking less and less like a Wombat and more and more like a Bandicoot, so it wound up working out pretty well. Banjo and Kazooie should be pretty obvious. Banjo plays the Banjo and Kazooie plays the Kazoo, but Banjo-Kazooie's spiritual successor, Ukulele, has some deeper meaning. As the creator Steven explains, Uku means a small-brained person, and Lele means to fly. Plus, combining their two names, you get something that sounds like ukulele, which is a small guitar, and is actually spelt the same way as the name's root words. Snake was named after Snake Poliskin from the movie Escape from New York, or at least that was the popular explanation popping up all over the internet. But neither Kojima or Konami ever said anything of the sort. What Kojima did say is that he chose the codename Snake because snakes are an animal that fits best what Snake does, hides and moves around without a sound. Solid was added to counter the soft sounding name, making the whole name harder, more dangerous, more deadly. And Master Chief is not only the greatest cook in the galaxy, but his real name is John 117. This is a reference to the Bible verses found at John 1, 1 through 7, which at one point says, There was a man sent from God whose name was John. 
And basically, these verses say you should put hope and faith into that man because he's awesome. And the conspiracy gets even deeper when you look at Halo's over-frequent use of the number 7. Seriously, it's everywhere, Google it. And in the Bible, John became the seventh bishop of Jerusalem in 117 AD. Mega Man sure is one mega... man. But in Japan, he's named Rockman, which makes more sense to me. This means when he's with his sister, Roll, they are rock and roll. This also fits with one duo of antagonists, treble and bass both musical terms. Fox is named Fox because he is a fox. Pikachu is undoubtedly the most popular Pokemon to ever be introduced to the franchise. The name Pikachu is a combination of Pika Pika, which is an onomatopoeia for sparkle, and Choo Choo, the onomatopoeia sound of squeaking. The Pika part of Pikachu may also be inspired by this adorable little creature. It's called a Pika. While on the subject of popular Pokemon, a lot of fans absolutely adore the original three starters from the Kanto region. Charmander is a portmanteau of the word char, meaning to burn, and salamander, charmander. As for Squirtle, his name was primarily chosen from the combination of the words squirt and turtle, which Game Freak found to be really clever and funny, considering Squirtle's design is also a mixture of a turtle's body and a squirrel's tail. That all works out really well. And lastly, Bulbasaur. He's a combination of a bulb, a rounded underground storage organ present in some plants, mostly found in the lily family, and Soar, ancient Greek for lizard. So, you starting to see a pattern? A pattern it is indeed. In fact, I've created an entire mini-series dedicated to finding all of the Pokemon name origins. Yeah, all of them. Pretty briefly, too. You can check it out here. I hope you enjoyed listening to us ramble about the character name origins of beloved video game characters, and hopefully you even learned something. There's a lot more facts, trivias, and theories about these games than you may think, and we'd love to go even more in depth with more specific games and characters. So leave us a comment for some quickly answered questions about the Mario series. And in the meantime, why not also check out one of my videos, like this one, about Waluigi and why he may not exactly be the dastardly villain we all claim him to be. So until next time, make sure to never stop using your noggin, and keep on thinking on.